Okay, so yesterday I did a video um, because I went to go to work in the morning and my guardian interlock failed me twice and I luckily um, I carry my own personal breathalyzer because I don't trust the equipment um, and for good reason uh, there's things all over the internet you know about what what and how they fail um, and I really started carrying this after my daughter and I did a video a couple of weeks ago because I got failed while drinking a premium espresso drink um, the brand is Circle K so I'm gonna be using that for reference again tonight um, I did a video yesterday to show that I had a 0.00 um, blood alcohol level but my interlock was failing me so just in case it's being questioned um, how accurate my my personal equipment is um, we're going to do another video with a little experiment and uh, you'll be able to see that it works properly so as you can see this is the model BAC track it's about 120 bucks I think at uh, Walgreens got scope now that has alcohol in it. You can read it right on the back. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. No, it's not going to focus. So, and then the Circle K premium espresso drink. So the first thing we're going to do is get our BAC track up and going. Let it fire up. So as you can see, 0.00. So we'll set that down, open this thing up, get this system restarted here. Well that's warming up. As you can see, 0.02%, which will make you fail on your interlock. <clears throat> Show you the ingredients. In the back of the can, maybe we can get these to read off better. Um, ingredients, brewed coffee, filtered water coffee, low-fat milk, non-fat white, ultra-fat milk, um, unfiltered, ultra-filtered milk, sugar, natural flavors, yeast, extract, Potassium carbonate, cell cellulose gel, some other crap that you can't even describe, cellulose gum, salt, all kinds of other stuff, but no, no, uh, no ethanol, no alcohol. So, I'm going to try my little mango drink here and see if that will rinse out my mouth. We'll go back to the breathalyzer. see 0, 0.00 okay so that was a that was a fail 
on the non-alcoholic um, beverage. I'm going to try to get the scope open, so bear with me. Alright, so scope's open. Um, I'm going to want to swish and spit this out, so use a trash can. Let's see what scope that obviously even states that it contains alcohol. We'll read at. Point one nine. So that was really, <laughs> if I had really been drinking, then that is a most definite, very intoxicated. Let's see if I can use the same juice drink here. Let's just see how much that neutralized it. So just like the Guardian Interlock, it takes a while each time. It's got to warm up. Take it on. I almost not even like that high, high reading. So when it gets those high readings, sometimes it takes a little bit for it to clear out.
accidentally hit the pause button, so. As you can see, it's still tracking the scope leaving my system until point zero three. Still a fail, major fail on your interlock. Let's see if we can neutralize it a little bit more. There you go, right back down to 0, 0.00. So I'm using these videos as my testimony towards the DMV that something's faulty in our system and my BAC accurately tracks um, alcohol levels. And so if I had to fail um, on, my, on my interlock device, and I immediately used this to document it. Um, it was over an hour and a half away to try to get to uh, to a reporting center, and where I could do a B, uh, do a like a, a VA. Um, especially even harder when it's an hour and a half away and you have no vehicle. Um, so I'm hoping this video offers a little bit and. Uh, I can get these violations taken off my off my interlock record. Um, thank you.